Driving Test UK, the short notice driving test specialist. Robert is just about to start his extended driving test here at the Ashford Driving Test Centre. He had actually passed his driving test just under two years ago here but has been ordered to do an extended driving test by the courts. The driving examiner has asked Rob to turn left onto the main road and then immediately right. We will now be turning right into Clarendon Road. The driving examiner has asked Rob to stop on the left, ignoring the yellow line. The driving examiner has now asked Rob to carry out the parallel park exercise. Rob has carried out this exercise smoothly in one go. However, it does not necessarily has to be done in one go. If you are on a driving test and you feel that you're going to hit the curb, you can go forward and correct the mistake. The most important the most important thing in the maneuvers is all round observations before you start and during. If you see anything moving, you must stop and assess how is it going to affect you. The driving examiner has now asked Rob to drive on when he's ready. The driving examiner has now asked Rob to take the next road on the right. This is Dudley Road. Here 
we will be turning right onto High Street Ashford. One of the most important things about the extended driving test is that you must not try to drive like a learner driver. The examiners do expect a high standard of driving. The driving examiner has now asked Rob to take the next road on the left. The driving examiner has now asked us to stop on the left somewhere conveniently safe. The driving examiner has now informed Rob that very shortly he will be conducting the emergency stop exercise. The signal the examiner will give Rob will be to raise his right hand and shout out the word stop. Robert has just carried out the emergency stop exercise. It is vital that he checks all around before moving off. The driving examiner has now informed us to turn right. Rob has now been asked to pull up on the left somewhere conveniently safe. The driving examiner has just informed Rob that this is the start of the independent driving section of the driving test. The driving examiner has asked Rob to drive to the end of this road and turn left. Having turned left, he must follow the signs marked Central London.
During the independent driving section of the driving test, watching road signs and road markings is vital. As soon as you see a road sign, direction road sign in the distance, check the rear view mirror and ease slightly off the gas. This will allow you time to read the board. We have just passed the direction board which is marked Central London 2nd Exit. If you have any doubt as to where you're going, whether you're at a roundabout or a set of traffic lights, you can ask the examiner for confirmation. They will help you. We are currently on the A30 towards central London. This is currently a 40 mile an hour road, but do watch the road signs, checking the signs is vital. Check each and every single lamppost, you will notice that all the signs are on the lampposts.
Bear in mind this is still part of the independent driving section of the driving test. We are still on the A30 heading towards central London. On a dual carriageway, if there are two or more lanes, you must be in the left hand lane unless you are overtaking or turning right. The driving examiner has given Rob a minor mistake for not being in the left hand lane. We are now in Hanslow West. Central London seems to be marked towards the right, however it would have been far easier in the left hand lane this particular roundabout. Robert has negotiated the roundabout fairly well, making full use of the mirrors. There was no mistakes at this roundabout. Most people who fail the extended driving test fail due to lack of concentration. It is a long test and you need to focus throughout the driving test.
have your window slightly open so you get nice fresh air circulating inside the vehicle. The driving examiner has just informed Rob that the independent driving section of the driving test has now come to an end. The driving examiner will from now on give directions as normal. The driving examiner has just informed Rob that he would like him to take the next road on the left. Rob has been asked to pull up on the left just before the Mercedes. This is for the purpose of the angle start. We will now be taking the next road on the left. This is Lulworth Avenue. At the end of this road, we have been asked to turn right. This is Jersey Road in Austerley. On a road with humps, it is advisable to check the mirrors before each and every single hump.
Rob has now been asked to take the next road on the right. This is Thornbury Road in Isleworth. The driving examiner has asked Rob to go straight on at the traffic lights. Bear in mind, if the examiner did not give any instructions, you must follow the road ahead, whether it's traffic lights, roundabout, crossroads or any other form of junction. Having said that, if you ever have doubt as to where you are going in the driving test, you can ask the examiner for confirmation. They will tell you. Bear in mind, this is currently a 20 mile per hour zone. The driving examiner has just asked us to turn left. At the end of this road, we will be turning right. We are currently on the Grove. Here we will be turning left and then right onto London Road.
On these types of large junctions, it is important that both sides of the road are clear before you proceed. You must not make any other road user slow down, swerve or to stop. This is the London Road, Isleworth. The driving examiner has just asked Rob to turn left at the traffic lights. As there is a cycle lane on the left, it is important that you check the left mirror before moving off. We are currently on Bridge Road, Isleworth. The driving examiner has just instructed Rob to turn right at the mini roundabout. Many people fail at mini roundabouts for going over them. Remember, they are roundabouts and you must attempt to go around them. This is Wharton Road, Isleworth. We have just passed Isleworth Driving Test Centre and the road has now changed to Hall Road.
the driving examiner has just instructed us to turn right at the mini roundabout. This is Witten Dean. We have just turned left at the mini roundabout. This is a continuation of the last road. This road is also called Witten Dean. At the end of this road, we will be turning right. This is Warren Road. At the roundabout, the driving examiner has instructed us to turn left. That is the first exit. This is Witten High Street. It is quite a busy road. Show extra caution as you get cars moving off without notice, pedestrians stepping out and car doors opening. Many learner drivers fail on this section of the driving test. Bear in mind, the smaller the gap, the slower the speed.
Bear in mind the cycle lane on the left is solid. You must not enter the cycle lane if it's solid. The driving examiner has asked Rob to turn left at the traffic lights and then immediately right at the roundabout. Rob has wasted no time and has entered directly into the right hand lane, thus making it easier for himself. At the roundabout we are turning right, that is the third exit. However, do bear in mind if the examiner asks you to turn right to the roundabout and you have any doubt as to where you are going, you can ask the examiner which exit to take. They will help you. The most important thing on the roundabout is the use of the mirrors. This is the A316 dual carriageway. We have just passed an exit on the left, therefore very soon we should be expecting an entrance. Be 
prepared to adjust your speed if necessary to give way to vehicles entering the dual carriageway. Learn a driving test or extended driving test. Bear in mind the examiner has nothing against you. Rob has moved into the middle lane to give way to vehicles approach to, to give way to vehicles entering the dual carriageway. If you do have to use the right hand lane of a dual carriageway, remember to move back at the first safe opportunity. The driving examiner has now informed Rob to leave the dual carriageway towards Staines. Rob has now been informed that we will be turning right at the roundabout. This is the fifth exit towards Staines. The most important thing about roundabouts is that they are done safely with full use of the mirrors. This is the A308 dual carriageway. Bear in mind, on approach to all green traffic lights, do anticipate them to change, making full use of the rear view mirror.
For a driving test, especially a long extended driving test, do take a small bottle of water with you. The driving examiner will ask you to pull up on the left safely at least three or four times during the test. Use this opportunity and have a sip of water if needed. Remember, on a dual carriageway, always keep in the left-hand lane unless overtaking or turning right. The driving examiner has just informed Robert that he would like him to turn right at the next set of traffic lights. When waiting at the traffic lights, do look and assess what sort of traffic lights there are. In this case there are two separate lights, one for going straight and one for turning right. We have just turned right into School Road. This is a 30 mile per hour road. The driving examiner has now asked Robert to take the next road on the left. This is Ashford Avenue. The driving examiner has just asked Robert to pull up on the left somewhere conveniently safe. He has now asked Robert to move off when he's safe. Remember to look over your right shoulder. We have just turned right into Linkscroft Avenue.
At the end of this road, Rob has been asked to turn left. This is Feltham Hill Road. The driving examiner has now asked Rob to turn left at the roundabout, that is the first exit. We are back in Church Road, Ashford which is High Street Ashford. The extended driving test has now come to an end. Let us congratulate Robert on passing the driving test and let's hope that he will not be back here again. After passing the driving test, if you get six or more penalty points on your license, you will have to do your driving test again. Hello, my name is Charlie. I'm the voice behind the video. Firstly, a big congratulations to Robert on passing his driving test. Did you know that the national average pass rate is well below less than 50%? Why not increase your chances of passing the test with these top driving test tips? Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Good luck with your driving test.